Well, we're here in Mount Monganui at Latitude 37, having a little beer break. And I just want to say that rugby to New Zealand is like hockey is to Canada. And we are here with uh, a bit of a rugby legend, played for the All Blacks back in the day. And it's our new friend, Graham Crossman. Graham, tell us about rugby and what rugby means to this country. Well, rugby's been uh, in the blood for ever since New Zealand was created. and. Um, it very much is the dominant sport. It's the biggest entertainment, and our team, fortunately, does pretty well world. The All Blacks. And now, what position did you play? Well, I played hooker for the All Blacks. That's in the middle of the scrum where you. Hooker, that means something different so in North America. Completely different in North America. Yeah, yeah. it does, totally. Uh, yeah. We are uh, in a beautiful area by the water. Talk about this region. It's we should also say he's, he's our tour guide he's today. Tour guy he's today. our tour yeah, guide today. He's, he's moved right. from career to career nicely. Talk about this region and what's great to, to see here if you're coming in off a cruise ship or if you're traveling through the country, why should you come up to Tauranga? Well, in Tauranga, of course, that's our main city, uh, but it's associated and next door and included with Mount Monganui, where we are at the moment having a nice beer. But Tauranga is in the Bay of Plenty, and the name suggests that it's got something special about it, and that's its climate and its soils and its productivity. and. Um, Named by Captain Cook when he sailed past here in 1769. So I reckon Bay of Penny really sums up what Tauranga is all about. As far as Mount Monganu is concerned, we may have already seen, we've driven past the beaches, beautiful white sand beaches, and it really is the dominant attraction of the area, but we've also got... And of course, mango. kiwi fruit as far as the eye can see, which is great. But you mentioned we're having a nice beer now. For us in North America, explain the difference here now. I know I'm having a pint. You've got a smaller... What's this one called? I think that's called a midi. That's midi, a, midi. a midi. And now what's a schooner? That's another size, yeah. isn't it? It's a smaller one, isn't is it? Is it a smaller no, one? No, no, no. Well, that's definitely the pint. That's the pint. A schooner, I would say. That's a midi. <laughs> now, where's the schooner? Halfway in between? Halfway in between. We're confusing them now. <laughs> hey, one of the things that was important for us to do while here is to check out some of the Maori history. Yes. Uh, talk about how they blend in and, and work with tourism in this region. Well, actually, this area, this coast that we drove along and have seen, and to which the ship passes through to get in the harbour, lies at right angles to central Polynesia. And the first Maori immigration or migration canoes landed here. So I like to say that this place is the birthplace of Maori civilization in New Zealand. So they play a big part of what our, our, what our culture is all about. And we had a look at a marae, and they make up a big part of tourism because people are very interested in indigenous people and we can give them a real insight into that. And like a great rugby player, Graham Crossman still loves his beer. <laughs> Cheers to that, gentlemen. Cheers. Thanks for a great day, sir. Great. Nice Come to this area, here. everybody. Cheers.